Attention Action Force fans, I'm here today to tell you about the latest incarnation of a toy brand that many of us have loved since the early 1980s. That's right, Action Force is making a comeback and is being brought to you by Valiverse. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at this exciting new toy line, so stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. And we're here today to talk about the Valiverse Action Force toy line. The brainchild of designer and company director Bobby Valor, and this new toy line is centered around a cast of interesting characters that are being brought to us in the one to 12 scale or six inch scale, similar to GI Joe classifieds. These figures are brilliantly articulated, well detailed and have amazing sculpting. But the thing I'm most excited about is that these figures wear very accurate modern military uniforms and carry very accurate modern weaponry. My favorite character in the collection is Condor and that's because he's British SAS and he's armed with a SCAR assault rifle and equipped with a helmet and night vision optics. One of the other details of these figures that I particularly enjoy is the fact that the rifles have removable magazines. Many of the different sets of body armor have pouches where you can carry spare magazines. Pistols can be removed from holsters, daggers removed from sheaths, and these figures are highly customizable. Along with the first wave of six core characters, Valiverse is also offering us additional weapons packs with a wide variety of modern military weapons, which are incredibly well done, and they include paint applications. You know, Valiverse is not cheaping out here and just giving us plastic molded accessories. We're getting very well painted, highly detailed weaponry. In addition, there are other battle gear accessory sets and some backpack accessories. And these have the fantastic additional feature of being able to open up and carry spare Action Force equipment. For the first wave of Action Force figures, we're being treated to six brand new characters. I've already mentioned Condor, but in addition to that, we have the Swarm Trooper, the Bone Collector, Kerak, Steel Brigade, and in a real coup, Sergeant Slaughter. That's right, Bobby Valor has secured the rights to introduce Sergeant Slaughter into this new Action Force universe. And in this mythology, he is an entirely new character. And this figure just looks incredible. I mean, the, the likeness to the real life Sergeant Slaughter is just spot on here. Now this first wave of six characters are available now through a Kickstarter scheme. Now I know some people might not be too excited about Kickstarter campaigns, but let me assure you, this was a necessary evil to get the first wave of Action Force figures out into the market. And Bobby Valor has assured me and all of his other customers that there will no longer be Kickstarter campaigns moving into the future. Once the first series becomes available, Bobby will then be reinvesting money into series two, three, four, and beyond. I am very pleased to say that I have placed my pre-order for this first wave of six core characters, which are due to be shipped in early summer of this year and I can't wait to get my hands on them and bring a action figure product review to the audience of Analog Toys. This new Action Force toy line is not a modern recreation of the Action Force toy line that we received back in the early 80s. And it really excites me that this is actually a brand new reimagining of Action Force. And to learn the storyline, there is a series of comics now available on the Valiverse.com website. So far, I have read the first three issues of this comic and I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to read future issues that are currently being shipped to me as we speak. I've also discussed this new Action Force toy line with some of the original designers from Palatoy and they've given the line some high praise indeed. Many former Palatoy employees refer to Greg Hughes as one of the greatest designers they ever had on the Action Man line. And he says that this new Action Force toy line that this series turbocharges the Action Force name to no end, and it will succeed immensely. And I've not seen such a comprehensive development analysis as has been done for this range. And Bob Breakin, the manager and chief designer of the Action Force range at Palatoy back in the early 80s, has this to say about the Valiverse Action Force comics. These comics have very sophisticated drawings, and I particularly like that large shot of the Skydiver in issue three. I'm pleased that I've been able to put Bobby Valor in touch with Bob Breakin and Greg Hughes. 
and it makes me very happy that the original designers of this particular toy line have given their stamp of approval, almost as though it's a, a passing of the torch from the Palatoy days to the new, exciting Valiverse days. Anyone wishing to support this line can go to valiverse.com and place a pre-order. These action figures are also available on Big Bad Toy Store. Bobby Valor has years of toy design experience and he is pouring his heart and soul into this exciting new line. And I can tell you, these are the best modern military action figures that I have seen to date. I know this channel is predominantly about vintage toys, but this is gonna be the one modern toy line, well, besides Star Wars Black Series, that I'm gonna start collecting. I can't wait for my pre-order to arrive. And speaking of Star Wars Black Series, as much as I like this toy line, one of the things that particularly frustrates me is that the majority of the figures come with both left and right hands in pistol grip form, which always makes the poses look odd. Well, you don't have that issue with Valiverse. All the Valiverse action figures come with interchangeable hands. I mentioned in my video where I reviewed the Black Series Hoth Rebel Trooper that I considered it one of the most versatile modern action figures, but I was disappointed that we didn't get interchangeable hands so we could make one of these troop builder figures left-handed. Well, with Valiverse and the Action Force line, that's not a problem. You get all the different hand options that you need to create left and right-handed firers, figures in a variety of combat poses, and it takes the customizing options to a whole other level. These figures and accessories are also compatible with the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified series, if you so wish to cross them over. The backpack pegs are the same, the weapons are scaled identical, and I imagine there'll be a lot of people out there who'll take a G.I. Joe Classified roadblock figure that came with this dumb hair straightener accessory and equip him with the squad assault weapon from the Valiverse weapons pack. In my humble opinion, this is the most exciting toy line to come around in many years, and the Valiverse Action Force toy line will be the range to beat in 2021. So if you want to support this line like I've done, head over to valiverse.com or Big Bad Toy Store and place your pre-order today. So thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to check out some of our other Action Force content, you can click the playlist right here. Or to check out the recent live stream where Bobby Valor showed off some test shots of these figures, you can click here. Or to subscribe to the Valorverse YouTube channel, you can click down here. I'm Tony from Analog Toys, and full force.